a volunteer who I'll pick. Let's see, let's see. Would it help if I drew the first gates? And it's the same thing here. Do an inverter. The kids here are very intelligent. Uh, they don't hesitate to perform. They're very interested in, uh, in performing. This is pretty much exactly the same exact thing we designed here. Same exact measurements and everything, just brought into real life with this printer. It's going up layer by layer. And so it's actually a computer-aided design and inventor to computer-aided manufacturing in the, uh, in the rapid prototyping machine. I'm a sophomore and I got my certification in Autodesk Inventor end of freshman year. All freshman students that enter Brooklyn Technical High School take Introduction to Engineering Design. That's actually a Project Lead the Way course. In that course, they end with Autodesk Inventor certification as well as college credit. We're talking about a little bit over 1,400 students a year. I did have Autodesk when I went to college. They taught us computer-aided design that second year, and they're learning it as freshmen right now. So it's a lot tougher on them. But I think the exciting part is I've had students who come back and tell me how they use like the stuff that we do in class on their interviews, and they want the files that they worked on back so that they can show it to their prospective employers. All of our students will take the Certiport certification test for Inventor. Okay, so. Guys, what we're gonna do is, the easiest way to start this is start with your rectangular shape, and then you can carve out the tub here with another sketch and extrusion, or you can include it in your initial sketch, all right? So these electromechanical seniors are working on solid modeling in the manufacturing course, and they'll end up taking the uh, Autodesk certified user exam. Uh, guys, we have a good question about this geometry right here. As far as industry goes, I think these kids are probably Pretty advanced. Uh, they're, they're ready to take college level internships because of what they're exposed to here. Partly due from the Autodesk exams that we offer and train them for, because of the work that we expect from them and that they actively participate in. They can make real parts at 18 years old, whereas most colleges might let their juniors do that. It, it follows closely with what industry expects from their college level or you know entry level engineering staff. We pride ourselves in having industry advisory boards. We listen to them very closely. We talk about certification, we talk about what software is being utilized currently in industry. For example, the differences between Autodesk Inventor and Autodesk AutoCAD, Autodesk Revit. What is being used in the architecture firms? What are being used in specific engineering firms? What are industries going towards more? And what skill set do our students need in order to be successful? What are the two sidebars for? Extension lines. Extension right? We work with over 130 different schools across New York City. And one of the things that we did was we went to Certiport to see what was available. And they provide the most bang for the buck, I should say. It's that one extra thing that puts you ahead of everyone else. So every little bit helps in a competitive world. I think it helps you in internships, like maybe a side job that you do while in college. Even though you might not like go into that major, even if you have it on your resume, it looks really good. I'm very proud of it. My parents are proud of it too, and I'm kind of happy to be certified at this age. You know, I, I feel like I have a little bit more experience, something else to offer the college. We are providing them with the opportunity that many students may not have across the country to get these certifications prepared, ready to go. It's just amazing.